So in this video, I want to talk about continued fractions again. Recall that continued fraction can be expressed in this sort of form. So this continued fraction of root 2 is 1 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1, and so on and so forth. So it's a sequence of an infinite sequence of nested fractions. And in this case, it produces this infinite sequence of nested fractions, which is called an infinite continued fraction. Now, if the number happens to be a rational number, then you actually get a finite continued fraction. So at some point, this sequence of integers actually terminates. So let me just show you a very quick way using the Euclidean algorithm of finding the continued fractions of some numbers. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the numerator of 89 over 37, and we're going to try and find the continued fraction representation of this. So first of all, I know that 89 I want to express this as a multiple of 37 plus some remainder. Well, I know that 89 is 2 times 37 plus 15. There's a remainder of 15. So I need 2 lots of 37 plus a remainder of 15. Okay, then I look at the number 37 um, and I look at the number 15 and I do the following. Then I'm going to try and express 37 in terms of multiples of 15 and see what the remainder is. So then if I do that, I get 37 is two lots of 15 plus a remainder of seven. Then I just repeat the exact same process and I see that 15 is just two times seven plus one. And I repeat the process once more and I see that 7 is 7 lots of 1 plus 0. And as soon as we reach 0, we stop the process entirely. Okay, so what was the point of doing all this? Well, it turns out that the continued fraction expansion can be easily seen just by looking at the coefficients of the expressions on the right-hand side. And in this case, the coefficients were 2, 2, 2, and 7. And that immediately tells us that the continued fraction expansion of 89 over 37 was 89 over 37 equals 2 followed by 2, 2, and 7. So what does that look like? Well, let me just write it below. So the continued fraction of 89 over 37 is 2, 2, 2, 7, and that is 2, that's the first term, plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 7. And these are exactly the coefficients that appeared in the Euclidean algorithm. So that's a very quick way of doing it. Let's look at another example of a continued fraction for a rational number, 72 over 19. Again, I'm just going to start from 72 and express that as multiples of 19 plus some remainder. And if I do that, I get this, 72 is just equal to 3 lots of 19 plus a remainder of 15 and then I'm going to compare these two and 19 is just 1 lot of 15 plus a remainder of 4 and I'm going, to, I'm going to compare these two 15 and 4 and I see that 15 is 3 lots of 4 plus 3 and next I just have to compare these two, 4 and 3. Let's just scroll down. And I see that 4 is 1 out of 3 plus 1. And now I just have to compare 3 and 1. And if I do that, I see that 3 is just equal to 1 lot, uh, excuse me, 3 lots of 1 plus 0. And as soon as I reach 0, I stop. So now I just have to do is look at the coefficients that I found in my um, Euclidean algorithm, and I get 3, 1, 3, 1, and 3. So that tells me that the continued fraction expansion of 72 over, what was it, 19? 19 is just equal to 3, 1, 3, 1, 3. And if we write that out in full, that's exactly the same as 3 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1 divided by 1 
plus 1 divided by 3. And the terms appearing in this continued fraction expression, i.e. 3, 1, 3, 1, 3, are exactly these numbers, 3, 1, 3, 1, and 3. Okay, so that's the end of my third video in the series of the continued fractions playlist. Uh, in the next video, I'll look at some other examples and methods of finding continued fractions of irrational numbers like root 3 and root 5. Thanks.